It's been 12 days since we've been able to get in here because we had record low temperatures for about a week. And so we didn't want to inspect them and harm the brood. However, because this was a new nuke and we wanted to keep a good comparison with our package, we did actually give them some sugar water during that time. And they consumed, it looks like a whole quart of sugar water. Just a few puffs of smoke. Okay, so we'll start. We kept the five frames together because we did not want to spread them out in the cold. But today, since this is an established five frame colony, we can actually put some of these inside. So we'll inspect first and then we'll rotate in some of this foundation. Here's our first frame that was not part of the nuke, and you can see they are drawing some new comb. They are putting some nectar in there, some pollen in there. This is the first frame they're working on. These five were part of the nuke, but remember um, we had what I called room to grow. We had one side of this frame was not drawn at the time we put it in. And they have drawn out a good portion of it, not all of it. And we have eggs and larvae in this frame. On the back side, pretty solid eggs and larvae. Let's take a close look. Now we had some calf brood, but that was 12 days ago, so they should have hatched out. Uh-oh. We got some burkham in the bottom. We have a solid frame here. A solid frame of capped brood. That's great. Solid frame on this side too. Now we said there's 9,000 cells on a deep and last time we estimated 50% were full this is very close to completely full so we've got maybe seven or eight thousand bees on this one frame ready to hatch out we will remove this burr comb it looks like mostly drone comb oops we'll have to address the extra space on the bottom that's allowing them to build that extra comb that's wasted energy that could go into drawing out these other frames. And here's some more of that burr comb. You gotta be careful, it's possible the queen can be on this comb. This frame has some hatched out brood that has been filled back with eggs. There's our queen. Our queen there looking for open cells. This other side we have hatched. We do have a queen cup here, but I always check there's no eggs, so they're not looking to swarm. There's a bee there chewing its way out right now. So once that cell gets emptied, they'll clean it up and a new egg can go in there. The reason for this burr comb is that this bottom board actually has a little extra shim that is made for putting a beetle trap in there that we do not have in there. So we need to take the shim off or get a new bottom board to reduce that space because that space incites them to build burr comb. Where the bees have hatched out, the cells have been filled with eggs and now have developed into larvae. This frame also had some room to grow. Fortunately, they wasted energy on this burr comb. 
It is solid brood on that side. And some drawn on this side. The next frames haven't been drawn at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this in. This has solid brood on one side, some drawn comb on the other. We're gonna turn that, uh, put that frame right here. So now we have, the brood is still in the brood nest, but this undrawn side is right against a frame of brood and larva. And that's gonna make them wanna draw that out quickly. And that means this side of foundation is now against a frame with brood and larva, which will make them wanna speed that up. Same thing here, we're gonna put this frame that is partially drawn. We're gonna move these over. Now it's touching another undrawn frame and this undrawn side is sandwiched between these two. Just for fun, we're gonna mark uh, this frame. This side was only partially drawn. We'll really mix it up. And we'll put this frame with just a little wax and nothing on the other side, right in the middle of this brood nest. And we'll write no on it, because it has almost no foundation. Keep them tight. All right. To keep this fair with the package, uh, I will put some sugar water on here. One last time anyways. So not a whole lot more comb drawn in the nuke compared to the package. But remember, the package starts with nothing. Every single bee there has to focus on drawing comb and getting it started. So they do start out quickly. But now, what we'll, what we'll see is as time goes by, how that population is going to go down because they still have 10 days before their first eggs that were laid could hatch out and make new, new bees ready to start working. Whereas this colony had two frames that were full of brood, that are half full of brood, so we estimated about 10,000 bees. They have hatched out, and those combs have already been filled again with eggs and larvae. And what was eggs and larvae is now capped brood. So now those frames that were edge to edge with capped brood become another wave in 12 days of workers. So we'll see how this continues. In about a week, we'll check back, and we finally have nice weather, so uh, hopefully both the package and the nuke can really get to work.